welcome to the border of Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire. I think I'm in Nottinghamshire right now. So I'm on the search for the Venelator Viaduct. I've been walking around um, for a good 30 minutes now and I've, I just can't find it anywhere. Uh, I think I'm going to have to stop and ask these, these people walking up the towpath. Uh, I've found it now. It's just behind me there. It was just hiding behind a tree when I was walking down, so I didn't see it at first. Yes, yeah, so we've come to have a look at this special structure, the Iron Giant, as it's uh, as it's commonly referred to. So several decades, um, it's been in the uh, in the making for restoration. There's been several false starts, but as of last Thursday, you can now walk and cycle across this great structure. So just a few facts before we crack on and get on top of the viaduct. So it was built in 1877, it was part of the Great Northern Railway. Now it was axed, um, I think it was part of the beaching cuts in the 1960s, 1968. And it's, um, it's just kind of sat there, dilapidated and unloved for all of that time until now. So I've jumped on the Erewash Canal from Ilkeston. I'm just walking up and, and we're at the, uh, only been walking what less than 10 minutes I'm already at the viaduct so I'm on the Derbyshire side now this is the western side of the viaduct so nice little path new path that's been created so let's go up and have a look the little town of Ilkeston we're just leaving behind and here's the approach to the viaduct lots of people lots of people on the viaduct having a walk this morning Wash Valley uh, line runs between uh, Nottingham, Chesterfield, Sheffield. So this is about 9.30 midweek and there's a steady footfall, plenty of people walking across the viaduct. So that's the, uh, that's the former Benedict Colliery and Iron Works just down there. I first saw this on uh, that TV programme of Tin Duns, the, I think it was the architecture that railways built, I think it's called. So, yeah, don't really know this area very well, to be honest. Don't have reason to come this side of Nottingham. Been to Ikea a few times, 
Um, but strangely enough, when I did my family tree a couple of years ago, all my dad's family were from Eastwood, Kimberley, Ilkeston. So I have got quite strong roots um, from this area, which is quite ironic. Got a little bit of sunshine now, it's making a world of difference. So we'll be crossing over into Nottinghamshire now. I won't get into that whole debate again, which is the better county, because we know it's Yorkshire. But what I'll do now is I'll head down because uh, sometimes you appreciate things like this a bit more looking at them rather than looking from them, don't you? Probably have to admit they're not the most scenic views from up there, but it's pretty spectacular just to be high above the land. You can literally see for miles. I'm off the other side of the viaduct now, so I'm going to go and have a scout around underneath, see if we can get a couple of good vantage points. So as you can see, if you want in step free access, um, you come up from the from the western side, from the Ilkeston side. It's quite a few steps from from this end. Someone's had a good night. A couple of cans of Budweiser, left their shoes. So I was looking at ways to get here, where I live. Um, you might know I live out on the Robin Hood line. I like to go places by train if I can. It makes it more, feel like more of a day out, doesn't it? But uh, I only had this morning free, and it was it was going to be a two-hour trip here and a two-hour trip home. It was going to cost me. I put it into uh, the rail inquiries. It was going to cost me only nineteen pounds, and it's not that far. It's only a couple of junctions down the motorway, but obviously where I am I've got to go into Nottingham and then come back out on the local train from Nottingham so and there was quite a long connection at Nottingham that I had to wait so I, I've ended up driving um, there's not there's not an official car park for it but there's a little car park on the canal up there that was full car kind of spaced on the side of the road they were all full so I've just drove into Wilkiston and parked in in the town at Wilkiston and this is uh, this is 9am midweek but it has been open less than a month so it's gonna it's getting a lot of visitors as I've seen today I'd probably say the best way if you're a cyclist I know a lot of you aren't cyclists is to park somewhere a bit further away and cycle to it it's a nice ride down either of the canal towpath Nottingham Canal this side and Eriwash Canal on that side so I'm just off down See if I can get underneath the viaduct now. Just having a scout around the canal, towpaths as well while I'm here. I don't know a lot about these canals. Um, am I right in saying the Nottingham, uh, Nottingham Canal's the disused canal, as I've seen, it's just disappeared on me. And uh, the Eriwash one, I think. is that still in use? I'm rambling now, I really, I really don't know. But um, it looked like it was uh, getting a bit of vandalism, that one, Eriwash Canal. A lot, of, uh, a lot of graffiti going off. There's our viaduct straight in front of us. Bit of a silhouette now, fortunately, because we have got the sun made an appearance. Looks like we've got some old colliery things here. I always say when I start these videos, I'm not going to start getting distracted by other things that I find when I'm out, but never the case. We'll have a, we'll have a quick look what we've got here look like loading ramps some description fixtures and fittings on the floor same again look like there was some building in the middle there don't know could this be in a waybridge perhaps probably more likely it's on the on the entrance road I know it's not ideal filming into the sun, but doesn't that make a nice silhouette?
you know what it's only from down here that you just get a you get a better feeling of the the scale of this this uh, iron giant as it's known and it's not the highest viaduct you could say that but it's yeah certainly got some length on that hasn't it let's have a let's have a closer look at these so it's built on swamp land i understand it's some structure isn't it so i'm right underneath now lots of interesting graffiti wonder how many rivets are actually on this bridge so I was reading the thing that actually saved it from demolition it was uh, I know it was explored was um, was just the cost of pulling it down they couldn't because of the structure they couldn't just cut it with um, I don't know I'm not a, a welder or a demolition but oxyacetylene torches is it they used to break things like this up um, but when they've investigated that they found that they'd actually have to take it down rivet by rivet which is I don't know I don't, I don't even care to have a guess how many rivets there are on this bridge but that's the reason why it's still standing to this day now, it's never going to be a railway again you can see either side it's the, the land's just been reclaimed, it's housing estates, it's never going to be put back into a, a railway use but it's good that it's actually now some kind of, I suppose you could say a tourist attraction So I've come underneath and out the other side now, so less of a silhouette now and we're getting more of a bit of light on the viaduct. We'll, we'll go up here and see if we can get another vantage point. Got some disused track work down there. I presume that was sidings for the colliery and iron works at one time, all the way across. Again, a bit of a silhouette, but it's a uh, yeah, really good vantage point up here, actually. Get a bit of a closer look at those uh, the brick brick structures at the end. So that's it for today folks, and that's the Benelli Viaduct. I hope you've enjoyed that, that little look around. If you're from around here, come and, come and have a, a butcher's, because it's, uh, it's well worth it. It's, uh, it's a lot better in person um, than what you see on photographs. So testament to the perseverance of those people, and those groups, the friends of Benelli Viaduct, who have uh, persevered for decades to get to where they are today and get it so people can enjoy walking or cycling across the viaduct so as always thanks for watching take care and i'll see you again soon on another video